Hi guys and welcome back to our video tutorials. So today's topic will be if you want to have some perfectly organized tables without scrolling too much and see all the data basically in it. Stay tuned because Alexander will show us how you can enable fixed columns and fixed headers for WP data tables. Alexander, should we start? Okay. Um, okay guys, so <clears throat> basically... Maybe you need you to switch the camera. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, we create a new table. In this case, we will import uh, a pre-made CSV file and create a table. So let's see, fixed headers first. So when we import the file, uh, just like any other imported table, you get to choose the column headers and to see the preview of the data. So let's name this one fixed headers and create the table real quick. Now, once the table is created, all you need to do to enable the fixed headers is go into the advanced tab and click on enable fixed header. The header offset is in pixels, the amount of pixels that the header will be moved down. This is used if you have a hero image on the top or anything that would be blocking the header from being fixed. Now, we can make this table a bit nicer here and choose the new mojito skin and just save the changes. And now, as you can see, the table is here. So all we need to do is copy the short code and create a new page so we can add this table to the front end and see how it works. So this will be a fixed header uh, page. We publish it. And now when we take a look at the table, we see this. So when we start scrolling down, you can see that the header is fixed, but this <clears throat> WordPress menu is currently blocking it. This is why we have to use the offset here. So we'll set that to 50 to start with. And let's refresh the page in the front. Here it is. Here's the header, which is fixed here. So you can see all the data below. Now, of course, I would need to adjust it because 50 is obviously too much. So let's set it to 30 and refresh the page on the front end. This looks a lot better now. So the header is fixed. You can scroll through the table and see this data. Uh, also, a better representation would be to show 100 rows on the front end so you can see it scroll further down now here we go you can scroll down and you can see the city the hotel the stars the date and the price in this table with fixed headers and fixed columns <clears throat> you can combine the two so if you enable fixed columns you will be able to both fix one or multiple columns in the table as well as the header now, in order to do that, I will upload a new table because it contains more columns. So let's import another table real quick and create one uh, fixed columns right here. So let's create a table where we will include both fixed columns and fixed headers. So as you can see, it has a lot more columns in it. So let's create a table. And under advanced, enable fixed columns. Left column numbers is the number of columns that will be fixed on the left and the number of columns that will be fixed on the right. So <clears throat> we can leave it like this for now and change the skin to, let's say, dark mojito. Save the changes and here it is. So now we just replace the short code here and add this new table that we just created. So table 31. Once it's updated, we can view the page and see how it works. So we've fixed one table here. And when you scroll through it, you can see the continent is fixed. Now again, we can play around with this. So under advanced, we can fix two columns on the, on the left and one column on the right. We can also enable the fixed header and remember the offset is 30. So once we save the changes and refresh the front end page, 
we can see that the header is fixed. When we scroll, we will see that the country and the continent is fixed and that the price is fixed as well. So your customers would be able to land on this table, scroll through it and see all the details related to these hotels. For example, in Egypt, uh, which city it's in, what's the name of the hotel, how many stars, how many beds, does it have a kitchen, uh, does it have air conditioning and so on. So basically guys, this is it. This is all you need to do to enable and configure fixed headers and fixed columns. Yeah, it brings a lot more experience with uh, smoother da data navigation. Yeah. And I hope this feature would help you for, for, for your data and for your tables. Also, this feature is not available in a light version, That's so right. only in the full version of the plugin. So yeah, check it out and let us know what you think. Also, before you go, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So see you in other videos. Bye bye, guys. Take care.